Hello, Jason and Susan. Welcome to uh, 10235 Osterina Loop, uh, Osterina Oak Loop, excuse me, here in Winter Garden in the Watermark community. Uh, beautiful home here, uh, modern elevation. Uh, nice thing about this home is that uh, you don't have uh, front neighbors uh, because the front of the home is a par um, a playground, children's playground, a nice walking path around this area here, which is a uh, it's a uh, water conservation area, basically. This is where water overflow will go in. And uh, set up to uh, take that over. Which is quite nice. So, again, Watermark is a very, very nicely developed community from uh, Meritage Homes. And uh, we're going to take a look at this home that you're under contract with three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Um, take a look at the exterior as well as the interior. So, let's go with the exterior first. And you've got, again, some nice landscaping at the front of the home. Got a nice porch with modern railing. Um, this is your porch here. Got a set of siding doors that come off of the great room area of the home itself. And then of course a nice large high, eight foot high door. As we go to the side of the home, Again, this is what we call the bungalow style home. So it is indoor living with some outdoor space. So this is the side of the home. This home was built in 2020. A relatively new home. It actually still smells new as you go inside. And uh, this is the, the back of the home. Again, this green space off of the, uh, off of the uh, driveway conveys with the property itself. Uh, this is the new high school that they've uh, built here in Horizon West. I was asking uh, neighbors actually, you know, um, if there were any, any noise levels and they said there was not. Uh, they said relatively calm, relatively quiet. Uh, they actually enjoy the fact that there's no backyard neighbor, uh, which is quite nice. The driveway itself is actually quite lengthy at least four, possibly six cars side by side on this driveway, plus the two cars inside the garage. So you've got a lot of space to park cars on the driveway itself. And then as we go around the other side of, uh, of the home, a lot of green space around this home. So you'll see the green space in the background. Um, and then you've got back of the home and the side of the home. Now this home is quite nice because the owners here spent money for gutters. You'll notice a lot of homes here in Florida don't have gutters so your water flow and direction uh, is going to be managed with those gutters in place which will really maintain the grading of your property and uh, keep everything the integrity intact. So uh, again the home outside looks very nice. Got some nice stonework on the facade. Again, adding some nice textural element to it. When you go inside, when we go inside, you'll see the windows of this home, especially upstairs, are nice and large. A lot of great daylight, uh, natural light coming in. All right. So as we enter, we have the heart of the home. So this would be your great room. Now some of these. Some of this furniture is actually staged, given that the home is vacant. Um, they did spend some money on upgrading the railing as well, which is quite nice. And then just to the immediate right of the front door, there's what I would call a Harry Potter closet, which is great for storage. Basically works all the space underneath the staircase. Quite nice. The kitchen itself is a gourmet kitchen built in double oven, microwave, glass cooktop, nice large deep sink and dishwasher. Uh, these pendant lights are enabled by Alexa. That's been disabled um, and can be reconnected. And um, 
Again, you've got good lighting throughout. Now these lights here, for some reason, over the kitchen are not turning on. The listing agent's going to speak to the seller and make sure that uh, they do in fact turn on. They had an open house over the weekend and everything was working properly. So this could be um, maybe a breaker. Um, but anyhow, just wanted to point that out. A lot of counter space. This, uh, this island is quite large. You can probably fit four or five, maybe even six chairs on this side of the island uh, as a breakfast bar. Again, you will have to purchase a, per uh, a fridge for this unit. It does come with all the other appliances, including washer and dryer. There is a nice subway backsplash, which is quite nice. And your walk-in pantry. Again, if you put built-ins in here, you would certainly increase the volume. Nice 42-inch shaker cabinets. Nicely built. Nice large drawers. The oven looks like it's never been used. Looks brand new. Again, you have two ovens here. Quite nice. Dining area, just off to the side, right over here. Again, large windows, a lot of great natural light coming in here. So, you know, this is a little 360 degree view of this main level. Uh, this home is just over 2,000 square feet, just under 2,100 square feet. As we make the turn here, we've got a nice landing zone coming off of the garage and the two-piece bathroom that's been updated nicely. In the garage itself, nice large two-car garage. It's got some extra space on the sides for storage. Got a hot water tank, and with this one, you also get a water conditioner, which is quite nice. Quiet garage door opener. And this is, again, the view from inside the garage. Let's go on upstairs. I know carpeting is something that uh, is important. Certainly the condition of the carpeting is important to both of you. And I will say, having walked through this home, carpeting looks to be in great shape. So we'll pay close attention to it as we go up the stairs. And as we come to our landing, Again, um, seems to be in great shape. This is your landing and loft area. So again, this is a great spot for a TV room, hobby room, really anything you want it to be. These massive windows on the front of the home give you a great view of the, the, uh, the exterior. And here we have our three bedrooms. Bedroom one, good size. Main bathroom, it's got coarse countertops, dual sink vanity. Same cabinetry as downstairs, very, very nice. Nice large mirror, nice light fixtures. 
and you've got your bathtub, shower combination with some nice tile. And go ahead and closet. Now this door probably has to be shimmed a little bit because as you get to this point, because it's rubbing against the tile, then it opens up again. So probably has to be just shimmed a little bit, but I just wanted to point that out. Again, the carpet continues to be very, very clean. Uh, I don't see any staining, but forgive me if you happen to see something, I do not. Um, again, this room is a good size, almost equal size to bedroom two, that bedroom one that we saw. This is another walk-in closet, which is quite nice. And then over to this side, we have the laundry room. Again, these washer and dryer does stay. You do have some additional cabinetry, which would have been an upgrade. And then you also have um, a tub, um, which is also an upgrade. So having the laundry room plumbed with, with a faucet and putting in a laundry tub is uh, a nice convenience to have. Now this laundry room does open up to the master closet. So it makes it convenient to take clothing out of your walk-in closet here and walk it into the laundry closet. But let's go through the front door of the master so you can get a good perspective of uh, the master bedroom. Master bedroom opens up with double doors. And it's a good size. So as you come in, there's your walk-in closet. And then really good size overall. This would be the back of the home. Good volume continued on this home. Again, nice lighting throughout, natural and electrical. And you've got a double door entrance to your master bath. Very nice tile, nice walk-in shower with a transom window up above. And you've got your dual sink vanity, large mirrors and light fixtures. You've got a um, water closet and a second walk-in. Um, so we've got the his and her walk-ins. This is a larger than the other. Also with a transom window, quite nice. A lot of closet space. Um, so you can decide who gets which. In addition to that, you do have a linen closet. So a lot of good storage in this home. Really good use of space. Carpet seems to be in really good shape. And um, honestly, this house is as good as new, it seems. So I know that uh, you were looking for some measurements. I'm gonna take that for you uh, after I conclude with this video. But with this video, if you have any questions for me, please do not hesitate. We can discuss at your convenience. Hope you've enjoyed this video tour. Congratulations again and welcome home.